The potential impact of the weather is causing anxiety for thousands of people who live in Southern California. Red flag and fire warnings are in effect in much of the state. Jamie Yukas is in Agora Hills, just west of Los Angeles, talking with homeowners who don't want to be forced out of their homes again. Jamie, I can understand. Good morning. Good morning. High winds could reignite flames and bring danger back to this area. To those who have survived the fire so far, they're hoping to not experience a nightmare like this. A lot of these you can just get with your shoe. Alex Orbison stops out hot spots near one of his homes in Malibu after the so-called Woolsey fire scorched his neighborhood. The flames reach right up the back of his home. The flames were like 50 feet tall and uh, you could see him from the street behind us. Orbison evacuated his family, but came back with others to try and protect what's left. With the forecast that winds are picking back up, are you nervous? While I'm worried about my property, and I'm more worried about my neighbors. <laughs> Linda and Johnny Castellano lost their home in Oak Park when it was hit twice by the so-called hill fire in Ventura once on Thursday and then again on Saturday when the fire reignited. I was running and it was dry and I had no water. We met Matt Armbruster on Friday, covered in mud after a close call with the Woolsey fire. When the fire approached his home, he panicked and ran to a nearby creek. I was in the water right here, laying flat in this water. Did you think you were gonna die? Of course. And then after literally about 35 or 40 seconds of extreme intense heat, it started to subside. It went past and then it was just like crackling and burning. Armbruster's house did survive, but he's keeping a hose nearby just in case flames kick back up. To survivors who will try to rebuild, they may have to do it without modern technology. There's no internet, cell service or electricity here, and it may not come back for weeks. John. Jamie, thank you.